Okay, hey everybody, this is my 1975 uh, Pontiac Firebird formula, and uh, I just wanted to go over my custom serpentine swap here. Uh, just to start off with, the main reason why I did this is because when I bought this car, the uh, engine didn't come with any pulley, or it, it came with a couple pulleys, but they weren't the ones that I needed. Um, and uh, it only came with a couple of brackets here and there and just not not really everything that I needed uh, and uh, the you know restoration catalogs want so much money for these pulleys it's just unbelievable um, and uh, you know these pulleys are five bucks a piece at the junkyard so I just wanted to show you guys what I did here um, and uh, I mean this really could be replicated on just about anything uh, but uh, just a few kind of tips and tricks for this Pontiac. Um, <clears throat> if it were a Chevy, it probably would have been even easier because I'd have had uh, the right bolt holes on the heads to just buy brackets off of a newer, uh, you know, like a 90s 350 truck or something and get the whole system off of that. But anyways, this thing is pretty old. This is a 1968 uh, 350 Pontiac. And... Uh, it's out of uh, Le Mans. Um, this, I guess to start off with, the two most important pieces were the water pump pulley right there and the crank pulley all the way down there. Um, it might be kind of hard to see. That thing's a little dirty, but uh, this water pump pulley, this came off of a, uh, it was like a mid-80s uh, Ford um, maybe it was a Mercury Grand Marquis, big Ford car. Uh, it was it was about the only car that I could find uh, that had a uh, a clockwise rotation serpentine pulley on it because most of them look like that. They're smooth. They're like the idler pulleys uh, because they run the wrong you know the opposite direction. So uh, mid '80s big Ford car. Um, is what that thing came off of and all I had to do was drill redrill those uh, four mounting holes, which was super easy um, the bottom one <clears throat> that crank pulley is off of a uh, Late 90s um, I think a, like a 96 or a 97 maybe Ford Taurus 3.3.0 uh, liter v6 um, that thing didn't fit perfect, but it had the uh, the depth that I needed uh, to line up with this water pump pulley. The only thing I had to do was uh, machine a little, uh, that's like a, I don't even know, less than an eighth of an inch, maybe um, 3 seconds inch sheet metal. Uh, so that was super easy to work with. Uh, and that spaced it out perfectly to line up with the water pump pulley. Uh, I did have to machine the inside of that pulley out to get it to fit on the balancer and redrill the holes. Um, I'm kind of lucky enough uh, to have a, a part-time retired mechanic at work who used to be a manufacturing engineer so he has a lot of really awesome tools at home. Um, and uh, one of them is a lathe so he fixed that pulley up for me but everything else you know I kind of he worked on this power steering pump pulley too for me. Um, Going down the line, that idler is just a uh, an idler off of a Chevy truck, like a mid '90s pickup. Um, and all I did was went to the hardware store and I found one of those big uh, um, unions or whatever they are, just the really long, really long nuts uh, that fit that bolt. I spaced it out with a few washers because my measurement was ended up being off, but it still works. I mean, it's nice and tight. It doesn't move at all um, and all I did was drill the hole that's the factory bracket for the power steering pump I just drilled a hole in it and welded that nut right on um, next this is the uh, CS 144 alternator uh, and all I really had to do with that this top bracket the one that bolts to the thermostat housing that thing lined up pretty much perfect I mean I couldn't have asked for uh, for a better lineup there it's just just the right pitch on that bracket um, I did have to add one spacer and one little walk 
lock washer right there to space that out on the bottom. Um, and that got the pulley to line up perfect. By the way, if anybody uh, um, is thinking about doing this CS144 alternator swap, it is totally worth it. Uh, this is just a, a 16 inch fan out of a, another Ford part. It's out of a Ford V8 car. I think it was a um, either a Cougar or a Mark 8. I can't remember, but one of those two. It flows a ton of CFM and it sucks a lot of power. And this thing uh, with that fan running, this alternator still pumps out like 14 volts. So it's, it's awesome. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then the last one is this power steering pump. This is uh, uh, original style power steering pump so the shaft is the keyed keyed shaft with the the nut on the end of it that pulley the only pulley that I could get to fit in that spot was a uh, that's actually a plastic pulley off of a 3.4 liter v6 uh, GM car I, I don't know if it was a like a Pontiac Grand Am or a Chevy POS I don't even know what it there's like a million of them at the junkyard um, but uh, and they're all the same size it's about a five inch pulley and that, that was the only one that I could get to fit in that spot uh, and it works perfect um, my the machinist guy did a little work on that he uh, made made that bushing um, and then cut a keyway in it uh, and just press fit the bushing into the pulley and then that bushing had the keyway in it to just slide right onto the shaft of this uh, uh, pump and they just put a nut on the end of it. Um, that little, uh, the metal piece on the outside is just a piece of aluminum. That plastic pulley had a couple of tiny little cracks in it and he was really worried about it so he just kind of sandwiched it with aluminum just to strengthen it up a little bit so it didn't come apart on me. Um, I don't really think that was completely necessary but uh, but it works. Um, and it's all it's all lined up really well uh, you know I've, I've heard of guys doing this before and they spend all kinds of money on spacers and crap and you know this is pretty much DIY homebrew junkyard redneck engineering and it works amazing <clears throat> and uh, I guess if you have any questions leave them in the comments I wish I could start this thing up but my daughter's bedroom is right above me right now and she's sleeping so I can't start it up but um, everything works really good uh, I'm actually getting rid of this car in the next couple of days I'm trading it for a truck that I've always kind of wanted uh, so I figured I should probably make this video uh, and get it on the internet so it's out there somewhere if anybody really wanted to use the information if not then whatever all right um, thanks for watching see ya